Hey guys, welcome to this uh, online event uh, that we are doing today. Thank you to the amazing Marimba band from uh, Swartberg Primary. Really love, love, love to uh, record you guys and film you guys and uh, bringing such a vibe and a nice intro to this video. Uh, this is Lazar Kimmer and my name is Shaw Fulcher. And we are part of Beyond Black Mountain. That one there. <laughs> So as many of you know, we would have hosted um, the Secret Garden Art in the Park this weekend. Unfortunately, there was some flooding and some road closures and we made the executive decision to rather postpone the event until next year and bring a bigger, better event to you um, for future. But with that said, uh, one of the things that we would have been doing was to honor a son of Caledon, the poet Pierre Philander, whose birthday it would have been on this coming Saturday. Yes, 25th of November. The 25th of November, and he would have been 102 years old. Yeah. Oh, hey, we are using some local poets to actually um, read some of his poems and some of their own poems. So. Uh, without further ado, here is the first poem by the man himself uh, who read it just, uh, I don't know what year he did, but he apparently was around the campfire yeah. and they recorded him and he recorded this uh, poem of his, Falplumtein and Kalidon. Falplumtein by Kalidon. Blauw lucht waarin die wolken groter klont en veegjes lage sambriel boe die grond. Is en hier die dam van wal tot wal en troebele rumpele. Een akelige verval as die water hoent die speelsiek skaats en skielik op sy skiet weg van al maats. En die swaan, een sneeuw skots met sy slungel nek, oor alles heen help rumpel strek. Gepolde toppe van die hoe bloek om bome, stil swaaiende siddering dier my trotse drome. Alles verval, word bleek en kul in die winkie waai rimpels, net soos hy wil. On 25th November 1921, Peter John Philander is born in Caledon. We would just like to take this time to honor him and the amazing body of work that he has written over the years, especially about the little town Caledon of which he was born from. Um, as I said earlier, we would have honored him at Art in the Park and since we could not do it there, we are taking this opportunity to do it now. The following gedig, Pronkvlug, is geskryf dier die local dichter Maren Sals, wat ook vir Calidon Museum werk. Daarna sal Nikki Voldien a P.E. Filander gedig haar uitvaar vir ons voorlees. My vry valkie, ek verdwaal in jou oor, so drie twan kwartelkies wie spreeuws na boor, hoort my moosies dier een muis vol beroof, eende wie elsies bekoor. My geel vang vijgie, ek is verloore verloos, so suikerbek is my met moosroose troos. My walde wie lawale, dier wevers bebos, swervers na jening vol koos. My fijn barsali, daar is versante in jou seel, soos draverkies duif uit my keel, wou a windswale wachters water leer die streel. Boontrok is geel oor die kraanse reel. My vly valkie, daar is a vink in jou oor. Boerie vly kykens wie aan my behoord. Snip, snippe, sangerkies en sterrekies a akkoord. A jimmelblauw troup aan my woord. Haar uitvaart. Al oor my dag, 
بطل خمال في فوالكس يفرار كمال فارتو خفاودة فايسيس كلين هت اي لانس ناري توات سوردين وخرايت دان بير بوكلات سا في سويت هت لانس ار سلابيس اف اتاب هار اوغيس سينك دايد لطنوك هلت ماي خسنيق om toog te jou. Die pijn te stel, maar ek was machteloos tegen sy wil. En halweg na die hospital, het asemloos die dood ons ingehaal. What an amazing, uh, potent poem by Pierre Philando. Um, and, you know, it, it, I, I knew what the, what the poem was about. You know, you could get the gist of it, but I didn't know the backstory of it. And, you know, learning about the backstory, I think for anyone, you know, especially when you're a parent, um, then it, it really hits home um, even, I don't know, just a lot more. And the story goes that his two-year-old daughter, Elsa, had fallen ill. She was originally misdiagnosed with uh, the flu. And over the weekend, um, things just got worse for little Elsa. Um, she actually had diphtheria. And uh, the end of the story was Pierre Philander in the doctor's car they are chasing from his home to get to Caledon Hospital and try to save her life. And on the way to the hospital, little Elsa passes away. And this poem was really, really about that. Next up, we have the historian Dr. Isaac Bali from Genadendal Museum, who will tell us a little bit more about his relationship with Pierre Filander. Hey, welkom in Genadenal. Ons sit nou onder die uh, beroemde pierboom wat geplant is door die eerste sender Georg Schmidt. Hier die pierboom het wereldwijd bekend geraak en alle mense het gewens dat hulle onder die pierboom kan kom sit want, want hulle het gesê as jy onder die pierboom sit dan kry jy nieuwe inspiratie. In Skotland sit die dichter Thomas Springle en hy hoor van die peerboom. En hy sê, een dag as ek na die kaap te kom, dan spring ek op my pert, en ek rui rug uit genaden al toe, en ek kom sit onder die boom, om nieuwe inspiratie te kry. En toe in 1824 kom hy hier, en wat doen hy? Spring op sy pert, en hy rui rug uit genaden al toe, en kom sit onder die boom, en hy skryf een prachtige sonnet, in distant Europe, Oft I've longed to see this quiet vale of grace, to list the sounds of moaning brooks and mellow turtles round the Patriarch Schmidt's old consecrated tree, to hear the hymns of solemn melody rising from sequestered burial grounds, to see the heathen taught and the lost sheep found and the long oppressed set free. All this I've witnessed now, and pleasantly its memory shall in my heart remain. Sprung op sy paard, rui weg, En uh, in die, die jare het baie mense gewens om hier te kom sit. Onder ander het ek ook vir Pieter Filander in 2002 hierna toe gebring, die befaamde Afrikaanse dichter. Um, onder meer Lady Anne Barnard, William Birchall, Lady, Bar uh, Lady Anne Barnard, Lady Dove Garden, uh, Henry Lichtenstein, La Troube het allemaal hier kom sit. En raai ook, meneer Mandela het ek hier gebring. En uh, hy was die beindruk, die er hier die uh, uh, boom met die symbolische tekenis, uh, betekenis dat jy nieuwe inspiratie in die lewe kry. En toe Pieter die lande 
ook hier kom, het om hier naar te brengen. So dit is die story van die peerboom. Toe te kom, op een geleide toer geneem. Op die kerkwerf, uh, door die museum, en uh, ek krijg die geleendheid om vir hom te vraag. Hy moet vir my vertel, waar hy die inspiratie gekry het, om die gedichtje te skryf, aand op genadendal. En uh, hy sê, man, ek sal dit vir jou gaan wees. En ek stap saam met hom die kloof op, en ons gaan sit daar by een waterstroompie. En hy begin die gedichtie voor te dra. Um, die gedichtie het ek in Afrika in Engels vertaal. Dit lui, it's quiet, the trees are playful. During wind, windy nights, they swaying their branches and touch and dodge. Only the last thin smoke layers roaming in the air and the moon shines brighter in the open heaven. Also the stars shine brighter in the valley. In that part of the sky which is enfolded by the majestic dark shadows of Grootkop and Wonderklippe, and far and skew hangs the southern cross aside. The old people came from the night watch in conversation with a couple of lanterns swinging and dipping as they walked along dark avenues with their lights so weak and impractical. Though the dark valley from Bafiaanskloo flows, the mountain stream to the ancient river without end, while Wonderklippe watch against the north wind and the lights of the fireflies darken one by one. And I had contact with him until his death. When he was in South Africa, he made a point to me to come to me. So I had a hard time for him to come to me, that he had to go. But Philander, who was also here in school, had to be in the annale of the Genadenalse geschiedenis. Philander always had a very special relationship with the Overberg and later in his life he moved to the US however. But Caledon was never far from his heart and um, he wrote this beautiful poem that was read by Gerard van Wyk called Herleving about how his wish would be to actually age in Caledon. Unfortunately this dream never became a reality. After Harrod's poem, we will be listening to Nikki Fuldin, who is actually reading one of her own poems called Die Vrou in My Spiel. Soos al my groeikies, sal ook ek op Kalidon wil verouder. Met laaste teegies, wilde als, boegel en bergkruie. Mits die reservoir, met vijgies en huide in sy monnekjaal, saam met goosblomme, flitse van haar, vir my sal onthul. Voor die soon begin doversmeel in die alweine, en een fijnbos te skade weer, dag by myne. Linde molliekie speel om die vars graf op uit die bek van die mol sy donker loop. Leveloos en tof, 
ooglede swaar geswel, opgepof, op hange ingedoke, diep leine om die mond, getuie van zware levenskof. Wie is die vrouw in my speel? Haar is leerterig en gereis, ouderdom wat ongenaapbaar wees, skouwers krom geboe, vele jare afgetrek van levensleis. Wie is die vrouw in my speel? Waarin is die glans in haar oe? Wanneer het het verdof? Hoekom is haar levensgebeere bezig om op te los in stof? Is dit ek, die vrouw in my speel, Ons by Beyond Black Mountain het die voorraag om met die Filander familie een verbindenis te hee. En P.J.S.'s sien Peter het vir ons die speciale geskenk gegee om twee van sy paase gedichte vir ons voor te lees, speciaal vir hier die geleentheid. Hy lees vir ons voor aparte geriewe en heimwee. Baie dankie aan die Filander familie wat vir ons hier die geleentheid gegee het om hulle pa te eer. Een trialoog wat in 2003 verskyn het. Heemwee. In een stiller week van Las Vegas sit ek stok siel alleen op my voorstoe. Luister ek, ja, luister tot ek my misgis. Ek hoor alles van ver af na my roep. Ek venster uitgegeen in 1983. Aparte geriewe, weerskante van een wit kerkhofmuur, tussen die selde cipresse, rus elkeen in sy eer doodkis. So we've come to the end of this uh, online event and we thank you guys for joining us. Um, and I also want to thank everyone that took part in uh, making this possible all the local guys that helped us uh, read the poems, and just honouring the memory of Pierre Filander. So, so as you know, we can't ons nie hierdie jaar the Secret Garden Art in the Park kan hou nie, maar ons boop om dit volgende jaar te doen. Die rede ook om ons hierdie feest te doen, is juist om ons local kunst en kultuur te, te wees, maar ook vir die inkomste of fonds en sameling vir die Velkrom en Tuin en Natuurisse vaat. Dit is een groot rede daarvoor. As jy nog steeds um, wil donateer tot daar die projekte, kan jy dit gerust doen, daar gaan een link beskikbaar wees. Um, as jy enige skinking wil maak in enige van die projekte waarmee ons betrokke is, rakende, aard in die park, die Velkrom en Tuin, vir al die Velkrom en Tuin, um, sal dit baie waardeer word. Dit was raarig lekker weer eens om jylle ons met ons te heen. Van, van my af, Shalfel, sê dan van Lizelle Kiemer af. Um, sluit ons nou hierdie video af en uh, die Marimma band van Swartbaard Laarskoel gaan weer vir ons uitspel. <tied>